Sophia, Peter, and Sophie. This time, under the pines. It's from the bear. I'm so exhausted. Yeah. Oh, in middle of the night, I don't know what to do. Life is beautiful. Nerves mm -hmm. break down. Why exactly are we doing this? Welcome under the pines. You can probably guess that it's late when we shoulder our packs and head into the Guani National Park. where grizzlies and moose roam in large numbers and big herds of doll sheep call the rocky cliffs of the St. Elias mountain range their home. It doesn't take long before we come across a rocky creek, murky with glacial runoff, from one of the many ice-covered peaks. Even at the height of summer, this water is freezing cold. But we have no trouble crossing and soon continue on our path high up into the mountains to an alpine plateau called the Bouillon Plateau. The sun is nearing the horizon but still burns hot and we remain optimistic that we will be able to climb more than 3,000 feet of elevation before darkness settles over the mountain. What's up? I'm exhausted. Two days ago we came back from another short camping, hiking trip, which was like super exhausting. And my legs are still sore. <laughs> Mom? Papa? Yeah? Can you walk with the sticks too, Kato? Yeah! There's a lot of flies here, huh? It's late, very late. <laughs> do we ever do anything early? Papa? No, we don't. It's not our thing. We always plan for an early start and then it doesn't happen. Anyways, I'm carrying like 40 kilos, which is about 975 pounds. What is all this? It's from the bear. He was digging. But as time passes and our merciless trail climbs uphill with no end in sight, a growing sense of frustration follows on the heels of exhaustion. I'm so exhausted. It's late. <sighs>
and while the scenery is breathtakingly beautiful, temperatures start to drop and the light fades quickly from the sky. Do you like your blanket? Yeah. Papa? Yeah? Hood. Hood. Yeah. Mama. Mama doesn't have a hood. Baby. Baby has a hood. We reached a 9.3 kilometer sign and we still have to go probably 3 kilometers still. And the park bends this area because of high bear activity so we have to keep going. Let's go. Soon we stumble through total darkness. I don't know what to do. Why? It's in middle of the night, we reached the 12 km kilometer sign postmark, and now we have to go further to reach the area where we can camp. But there's no trail and it's dark, so I don't know what to do. We decide that it's more dangerous to crawl up and down a steep trailless mountain face in the dark than to pitch our tent right on this alpine plateau. We are really exhausted and once the tent is up, we crawl inside with not even a sad cereal bar for dinner. It's very funny because it's like not a straight where we're laying, it's like the head down. I feel like I'm laying like this. <laughs> Do you see what I mean? <laughs> There's Marita right here. Eki right here, Sophie right here, Kata right there. <laughs> and Peter right there. Oh, I'm so exhausted. Oh, it's, we arrived here at, I don't even know what time it is now, but it's dark. Bruce, when he was laying outside of Peter's sleeping bag, he was shivering. <laughs> yeah, I don't really have a sleeping bag. Is he in, your, in the bag or in, in, at the end? Yeah, so I just have like something that covers me until my waist. But you're cold, right? It will be at one point, but not now. Oops. <laughs> Everything so for the dogs. We climbed up a mountain for 12 kilometers. I'm exhausted. Me too. And there wasn't really a break between the last hike and this one, so... I want to sleep now. Good night. Good night. Bubblegum fights on the third floor. The next morning, the water in our bottles is frozen and the leaves are covered with frost. The rising sun is battling with layers of clouds and the cold morning air whispers softly, chilling words of autumn. This
something that feels so big And all that I'm left with is a dry throat I lose my head when you call me up And ask if I'm doing okay Was it easier when I was young? And we stay in the tent for a while so exhausted. So how was your night? Basically just slept in my jacket because he had my sleeping bag. For so cold, I did not sleep. Hmm. Get the bag container, container with our food. We yesterday night we placed it like what 50, 60 meters away from our tent. And um, now we will have breakfast. Nowadays we're all so spread out. A time zone for each of our hearts. When tragedy strikes, will we mend up? Come together to say our goodbyes, or will we stay apart? And leave it all unsaid. It's the most beautiful spot. Said that last time already. <laughs> I know. In the last vlog. I know. There are so many beautiful spots here. And they are all the most beautiful. And the, Yuk the Yukon is the most beautiful spot. It wasn't easy to get here, to this spot. Rock crawling at the end, in the dark. And we had like, Peter carried 40 kilos, I carried 20. So we carried a lot. It got late, it got dark, <laughs> it got scary. <laughs> Finally, the warming rays of the sun drive away the cold and the feeling of a summer's morning slowly returns to our alpine plateau. Yeah, do you like it out here? Yeah. It seems like all of us try to delay our departure for as long as possible. Until finally... Gefühl. It's such a nice feeling. It was dark when we walked this trail the night before. So much of the scenery we get to enjoy for the very first time today. Thank you. 
Let the journey just be gone. Life is beautiful because we are here at this amazing, beautiful place on earth. <laughs> There's nobody else is here. Just us. And some bears and grown squirrels. And an eagle. <laughs> Still my shoulder shirt. <laughs> but we almost reached the 9.3 kilometers sign post. So that's good because that means after that we're going downhill. Well, I don't know if that's good because going downhill for a very long time is like super exhausting. <laughs> but let's do it. And there's still a long way to go. My shoulders hurt so much. I need a massage. <laughs> Can't move anymore. Oh, it's the 9.3 kilometer sign, post sign. And we're making a break, having a break. So go ahead and leave it. It's so peaceful out here. I'm hands. <laughs> it's funny how <clears throat> at night everything becomes more like dangerous and more scary. But yesterday night <laughs> I was so scared. I was super scared. I shit my pants. <laughs> That's funny. I almost got a nerve breakdown. Nerve breakdown because it was dark. I was so exhausted. And I was so scared of the bears. Won't you stay? Walking out of those mountains is another tough challenge for us. And since we did not recover from last night's escapade, it does not take long before exhaustion takes over. Oh. Why exactly are we doing this? Because nature is beautiful. We're back. Thank you so much for watching our vlog. We hope you liked it. And if so, please subscribe. It would help us a lot to stay motivated and it helps our channel to grow and to keep 
making these videos for you guys and um, yeah subscribe and hit the thank you buttons down here and like it also like the video yes like 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 <laughs> thumbs up thumbs up button and uh, please head over to our patreon page yes uh, we updated the whole page so we have a lot of cool new things there like we have seven tiers and I am sure you can find something that you like yes and also we have to say thanks to our new patrons that you can see up on the screen right now thank you so much everybody for your support and we, we really appreciate that and it wouldn't be we wouldn't be able to do what we do without you without your support so thank you thank you thank you yeah you are amazing <laughs> you are yeah and um, yeah, hopefully see you next time. See you next time. Mwah. That's confusing, eh? <laughs> confusing stuff. Mm. Yes, uh, we hope you what? Yeah, so. <laughs> <laughs>